Hi, Suta Mani here. How are you today? Just finished a blog post about building your own opt-in email list. There's been lots of um, articles and information about where to go to buy people's list or to get access to them by paying money. Um, my article talks about uh, how you can build your own and do better with it. So for the first thing you need to realise is that it's going to take some time and effort. It's not something that's going to happen overnight, um, so be prepared to uh, take a few months to get a really good list going. Um, you can get uh, a continued growth, though, at a much lower expense. Uh, the first um, suggestion is, is to start blogging immediately. Ready, set, go. <laughs> get into it. Jump into it. Um, it doesn't matter what the the content is about to start with. If you've never done it before, don't worry about that. Just um, if you're in a business and you've got uh, people working in your business with you, find uh, just ask your uh, employees, take turns about writing articles about what they're good at, what they know, their own knowledge. Um, it's amazing what you can do. Um, if you have your own personal blog, you could um, get other bloggers to come and post. Uh, guest posts for you. Uh, you there's, there's so much information online, it's just astonishing. Uh, you can think of a topic and then um, just research it and make your own uh, information available with it. So um, I've got a, a link there to another post, Help, I Need Some Blogging Ideas, What to Blog About Every Day. Feel free to go there and um, use that blog post. Just change it, put it in your own words, whatever. Okay, the other thing you need to do uh, is on your blog site is create an offer, like Eve with the apple. <laughs> but um, a free offer that people can uh, take that your target group would enjoy. So for example, if you're doing a travel site, a travel business, you might uh, offer uh, you know, 10 tips for good travel or something like that. Um, so think about a, a, an ebook uh, on the 10 top 10 obstacles facing your target customer, whatever that happens to be. Um, and you, you, if you put it on your sidebar or um, somewhere where it will appear on every page of your blog, on every post, that offer will appear. And the call to action should be very, very clear so that the person knows that if they click there, they'll be able to download a book and read it free. But they have to give their email first to get onto your opt-in email list. <laughs> okay, um, you could also, um, after you've done your first one, if you really uh, are successful at it, you could offer a couple more different things. So, and you, or you could vary the offers and see which ones work the best. Then step three, when you're first starting to build your email list, you could supplement with some paid marketing in the short term. So you'll need um, a splash page or you can actually just market your blog posts. Um, there's a little graphic here that shows the difference between the pay-per-click ads, which is what people pay for, and the organic search results. Your blog will bring you organic search results. The other ones you have to pay for, but you only pay for the number of clicks it takes. So there's a few little tips here on how to get started. Social media advertising, email sponsorship, your proposed plan and target metrics, and a little bit of a summary there. So go for it. Good luck with building your opt-in email list. <laughs> See you next time. Bye for now.